I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. But I like having fun. Yes, I like to laugh. I like having fun to meet people who laugh. Go! On the air live. Good morning. It's February 2nd, Groundhog Day. And Matt, producer uh, Captain Carlin, has an update on the Groundhog Day situation. Matt, real quick. Saw his shadow. A lot more winter oh. coming your way. How come? Oh, my God. Fucks the Tony. How come? Shadow. In my iCal, I use oh. Apple products. iCal is my calendar. It's how I keep my life organized. Why is Groundhog Day not listed as a uh, holiday? And why don't we have today off because of Groundhog? Oh. And a quick note for our tech whiz, Wes. Wes, I'm not seeing anything on my monitor here, just so you know if something needs to be re- Oh, there she is. It needs to be a national holiday. What also needs to be a national holiday is... Happy birthday to you. Is... Happy birthday to you. We are at the uh, Tim Heidecker's 47th birthday Eve, folks. We should have moved the show to tomorrow, make this more, because now it's annoying. People are sending me happy birthday wishes when they really should be doing that tomorrow. I don't like this whole, just make it a day, but we're gonna make today special. I uh, have no idea what's gonna happen, what's gonna be a big surprise for you. It's always a big surprise for you. You, you don't get the, you don't get the up, the, the script ahead of time. So let me introduce Hi, Timmy. Happy birthday. the boys Happy behind birthday. me causing me trouble now for over. Well, Doug's been causing me trouble, boy. She's got to be over 20 years wow. now. Since you were oh, in your 20s. Actually, 20 years ago. Is it true? 2004. Well, almost 20. Speak up. <laughs> You're mumbling. What are you? Good horning. <laughs> What are you, a, uh, what are you, Gen X back there? Slacker? Yeah. Losing my voice. You sick? Are you sick? Huh? You got a little cold? Healthy as a horse. And a newer person in my life, but now it's been years as well. It's 2015, 13, 14, 13, 13, 13, 13, believe it or not. Mr. Victor Berger the Fourth. What's cracking? Fresh. <laughs> I worked I like on that last it. night. Fresh from the set of uh, Rifkin's Festival. <laughs> what's cracking? Can I give you a note on what's cracking? A quick, you should add an egg frying to the end. Shit, that would be great. That would be perfect. But okay, I was thinking, let's do our notes I was off thinking, air. I was thinking like nuts though. Like let's get nuts. What's cracking? Like you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Yeah, I like that. And of course, like uh, yeah. Captain Carlin, who I've known the longest since I'm going to say 2000, the year 2000, maybe 1999. Uh, a lot of years. Happy birthday, old friend. Thank you, old friend. One of the greats. That, I'll tell you, you yeah, haven't changed. Out. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but. I'm giggling a lot. Uh, Captain Carlin? And you're, I've known many of you out there for many years now, and I, I value your, uh, your support. And, not so much your friendship. Let's be just friends. So put on. Happy birthday. But I know, I know you've got my back. And hell, what the hell? I got your back. Happy birthday to you. A uh, little bit of business here. We've got uh, the Patreon. Patreon.com/slash/officehourslive is humming. Lots of opportunities there for you to become a member. Uh, there you go. Happy birthday, Jim. Uh. That's the second half of the show will be patrons only unless you're watching live and we welcome you. We hope you're doing good out there. I know it's cold in a lot of parts of the country, lots of weather issues. And uh, it's, it's a bit chilly here too, to be frank. Uh, we got some other stuff that I know about today. I tell you what, so uh, Victor Berger, uh, late to the party on this, but I'm late, glad yeah. he showed up is went down what I would consider a deep, dark, uh, sci-tai rabbit hole the past few days. Mm -hmm. And our text thread has been absolutely bombarded (laughs) 
with it's the Scientology disaster. gold. I know. I, I feel bad every time I send it, but I'm just like so into it. Like, <laughs> I go on these long walks and I listen to his lectures. And he <laughs> says nothing. Yeah, LRH says nothing give me a, at all. Give me a sample of LRH. <laughs> all right, let me see here. Vic Berger. Ready? Well done, Vic. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Touch it again and touch it again and touch it again and touch it again. Christ <laughs> almighty. What a whack job wow. that guy was. Started a whole religion. Yeah. He kind of has Neil Hamburger vibes. He does, too. totally. Why? Totally Neil. Well, there it goes again. Oh, oh. Christ. He was a, he was a, drunk, he was a <laughs> drunkard, wasn't he? I don't, I don't know I don't if he that. was. I don't know. He's, he's demented on his own without he's the drinking. He's a demen demented man. But he's uh, also want to thank uh, Lyle the Therapy Gecko, who was on our show a few months ago. Uh, I went over and did Hello. his show last night on the Twitch network. And I believe that's available everywhere. But boy, that's a good show he's got. I have to say, it's a bit of a pain. Right. What do you think of that Twitch, though? What do you do? You like it? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't engage with it. I don't play around with that site. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I watch Best Show on it. Yeah, you can do that. That's you can worth do it. That. But um, yeah, his show's pretty cool. He's. Uh, it was a, the only pain in the ass of the whole thing was it was out there. And if you're not familiar with the L.A. basin, this area that we live in, she's over. Or he's over there in. Uh, it's over there, because it, or an animal. I yeah, guess yeah, an animal yeah. can have a gender. Mm -hmm. um, out there, Marina Del Rey. Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. And my call time to get get going and getting the makeup over there has got to be is at five thirty, man. What's he? Is like is he a PM, a PM, which is worse. That's, That's worse. He yeah. does he go sailing out there? What's he living out there? For? I don't know. There's a lot of tech. <laughs> you know out what I mean? There. Like, oh, tech. is that what it is? Okay. Big. There's tech everywhere. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, right, there's tech here. He's yeah. got a nice little simple setup over there, but uh, man, I'm talking traffic and weather today, folks. But it is a broken system here. Should be on the way back. It was like eight o'clock. It was a smooth ride, eight, about a half hour. Or so, beam. Not bad at all. But getting there over an hour, slogging through downtown, and I've got this new problem in my life. In a few months now, I may have mentioned it, but I've got some oh, I didn't know that was upper back, <laughs> upper back issues. You know, this upper back neck issue that is is not too bad, but almost immediately kicks in when I'm driving. Certain <sighs> position I'm in, I don't know what it is, but as soon as I get in my car, about two minutes later, I'm feeling, like, ah, and then I'm like, holy shit. Tim, they I got to sit in the car for an hour with this pain, searing pain. You got to get these new. Um, they make these standing cars where you can. Stand. I would I, <laughs> see. I Stand, prefer standing. Kind of like a standing desk. Uh -huh. Standing your car. Not a bad idea. <laughs> do they have? Does anybody? Do, is that, is that exist a thing? anywhere? I know it doesn't. I know I, you're joking. It doesn't, but, but it should. It right? should. Why not? I mean, why not? What's you the difference? Just be strapped in strapped against a wall. Up. You yeah. know. Well, let's like say good morning to somebody, mm -hmm. Matt. I don't care who. You just throw them in my face, and we will engage because this is a this is what this community is about. Yeah, yeah let's, um, yawn yawn let's say hi to our yawn. old friend Annie Sway. You got something today, Sway? Sway, I can feel it my home. Well, Tim, did you at least have a good day on set despite the super early call time? Well, you weren't listening. It was late. It was, <laughs> was 5.30 p.m. Okay, sorry. I thought you said a.m. No, uh, I've done that before. Believe me, you get that 5 o'clock call time for a TV show, and you got to wake up at 4, go leave your house in dead of night, dark, still seeing, seeing the stars, sit in a makeup chair, get all done up. Well, who am I to complain? What a gift. What a life. Tim, I heard Puxatawney saw his 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. <laughs> do? he thought, so, Annie, how can I help good. you today? I want to know if anyone has tips on uh, chap lips. I feel like some chapsticks I use, and they just make my lips worse. Like I've got this horrible scab. Oh, Why right here, Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees. Yeah. No, Burt's Bees don't right. do it for you. You gotta try Burt's uh, Worms. He's got these new, <laughs> <laughs> these new stuff. Burt's Worms. Burt's Worms. <laughs> How about Burt's Seas? How about Burt's no Ernie's? I wish I had tips for that. I've heard good things about that uh, coconut oil, a little coconut oil in them lips, mm -hmm. or even or, or even olive oil or castor oil. Motor oil. <laughs> Put plus the Vaseline down all over you, that, right? Do you drool on the bed face down, or you do face uh, face up? Uh, I would say I'm at like a 45 degree angle. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
I feel like but sometimes I mean, that has something to do with it when do your you, mouth is like. Are you chewing on your lip or something? How did, how does it get like that painful? Like what happened? No, I was like using a really good brand, uh, like lip balm, and then I woke up and I was like, "What the frig?" Oh is it? god, mm. maybe it's a cold sore. Or maybe, maybe it's, it's a uh, spider bit. Herpes. I mean, been... I don't think that's likely based on you know my recent track record, but I'm gonna stop <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll report back. Okay. Uh, me. Yeah, it. Uh, I'll tell you that it is. It is. It, you're in. You're in Southern California. Is that right? You're in L.A. It is. Uh, it's dry. It's dry here. It's you a get, dry. It's one. dry. A little humidifier going on, right? Yeah, I, Nothing yeah, wrong with that. That's right. All right, Annie. That's all we can do. Out, I don't Annie. have anything else to report. Let's get ahead of the schedule today and do don't, our. No, actually, hey. don't, don't lick your lips. That's another thing they say to not do. Yeah, but what if you're hungry and you see some ribs? I mean, you know, we already got sauce <laughs> in your lips left over. I love to interrupt, oh, but uh, we have a VIP call. Oh, VIP. Just came in on the hotline. Ooh. All right. Are you there, sir? Hmm. Six, are you there uh, on the hotline? Hello? Am I talking to. Who do I have on the phone here? Who's this? Hello, this is this is Bob Dylan, greatest singer songwriter in the oh world. My. Bob Dylan. Mr. Dylan. That's awesome. This is Mr. Dylan. I'm calling from Malibu, California, where <laughs> all the tired horses in the sun are currently they're currently laying down. Oh, Mr. Just enjoying the wonderful Southern California sun. That's incredible, Bob. Uh, but let me just start by saying I am a huge. I'd say you're my number one, or maybe I number. Be, I don't want to hear all that. I don't need to hear all that. Well, <laughs> I don't mean to know about all that. I don't mean to hear. It. I, I love Batman. I apologize. Well, it's incredible you that know, that's, that's something I can. That's that's a you know, if you just hush up for a minute, that's something I can self-describe. I don't like what other people do, and I, I can I can self-apply that, but I don't like what other people do. He can what? I I he can self-apply that. He says I apologize. Well, Bob, I saw you uh, last year here in L.A. That was a terrific show. I'm a big fan of your latest Pantages record. Theater. Pantages Theater. You know, in the corner of the Pantages Theater, Howard Hughes used to maintain an office there. Oh, really? Howard Hughes had an office there, and he'd sell all his junks with piss and shit, and he'd think about big boobies with women, and draw big planes with big wings, and women with big boobies, and he Never, never cut his nails. And yes, uh, Howard Hughes. Hey, Bob, are, <laughs> you got any uh, any new re new recordings in the works? You, you you back at it? You you got any albums planned for the future? You know, people people love when I write a twenty five minute song that sums up <laughs> the entire generation that I come from. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've done that. I've done that already with Murder Most Foul. Yes, which you might remember. Got in the studio with Fiona Apple, Blake Mill, some of the fellas. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recorded some covers of some of the great American standards. And uh, I've decided that I'm going to be recording a fusion of those two styles very soon. And that'll be 38-minute-long uh, versions of Nat King Cole songs, and I'm very excited about that. Wow. Well, we'll look forward to hearing it. Hey, Bob. Who who are some of your contemporaries that you just have to say I love them and I wear and I'm you know because you you have no peers but who are the people that you really connected with and and uh, respect? Connect mm. with and respect. Ah, kind of like a little Nas X. I think he's pretty good. Little Nas X. Mm. <laughs> I kind of like little Nas X. He's he's brave. He's got the soul of a warrior. He's got the body of some kind of. Do you remember that Guillermo del Toro with the fish? Mm mm. He's kind of like a fish man, but he's, you don't know, he's got the soul of James Baldwin. He's got the razor wit of uh, Betty Davis. I suppose, yeah, I, I, I kind of meant more like your generation, like okay. uh, that, like uh, some of the greats. Well, you know, it's been a pretty wild week in London with Donovan, and uh, he was, I think he was probably more popular than I was at the time. And... Uh, <laughs> I think I got the best of that uh, interaction, uh, as you can see. How, in, how, uh, D.A. Pennebaker's Don't Look Back. Yeah, Don't Look Back. I mean, that's a classic. If you haven't seen Don't Look Back, it's a, a masterpiece. Uh, and uh, I mean, when you watch it, when, when you watch that footage, 
Tell me, is it Donovan who was sparring with the journalists and telling them what they do is stupid and they should go to hell and burn in hell forever? Or was it Bob Dylan? It was you, sir. You, okay. you put everybody in their place. What songs do you want to be remembered by? What are, what are some of your favorite songs of your own career? That's easy. I mean, you know, when I look back at all the records and the ones that people like, the ones that people don't like, the ones that I like, the ones that I don't like, I can't really come up with anything. I mean, I, I, I don't even think I write songs. I wouldn't call what I do writing songs. No? What is it? No. And I'm and I'm I'm very curious why you would think that why you would think that I write songs. Uh, well, gee, I don't. I mean, I, I don't know how to answer that. I think that that's how everybody perceives you. You you put out music that are ba that are songs. I assume you write them. Hmm. Hmm. That's enough. I mean, I suppose when you put it that way, I guess what I do is songs. Okay. Now that I think about it, I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> How's your health? Oh, I never, I never felt better in my life. You look at me; I'm the picture of health. I'm like four foot eleven, uh, lifelong smoker. Um, it's a uh, marked change in my vocal quality from 1975 to about 1978, from heavy cocaine usage and binge drinking. Uh, I went neck? to the doctor the other day and. Oh, the neck thing? Oh, you mean Jeremy. Oh, you got something on your neck? You mean Jeremy? How's that thing on your neck? I don't know. <laughs> you call you the thing on your neck Jeremy? Well, yeah, his name's Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> what is? It's like a boil or something? Uh, well, you know how Elvis had a twin who died at childhood? Yes, I've heard that, yeah. I, I uh... I had a twin who moved into my neck uh, when he was about 29, <laughs> and uh, he just sort of grew from there, and uh, I suppose, you know, now we're both um, getting on in years, I suppose, except to a genarian. I suppose, and, sir, uh, yeah. I guess at this point, octogenarian. Yeah. yeah. Mr. And, Dylan, uh, could I ask he's you a question? Pretty, he's, a, he's a pretty good singer, too. <laughs> yeah, um, our friend Vic here has a, a question for you. Hey, Mr. Dillon, it's really nice to talk to you. A um, lot of a uh, lot of yeah. emergencies up there in Malibu. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what do you are you? What are your thoughts on the police? I, I was like gonna say, are you yeah. are you uh, are you holed up? Are the cops yeah. coming for you? Did you commit some crime? Well, you know, uh, uh, every once in a while, I I go down to uh, Fresh Market and. Uh, put a couple of rutabagas in my uh, jeans and I walk out the door and uh, make the steady climb up to my place. And uh, I guess you could say there's some guys waiting outside for me to give back those rutabagas. And really? I sure as hell ain't going to do that. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I strongly I urge you to comply. I don't think you should resist uh, that situation. I think you should, uh, yeah, you should cooperate. As, uh, we don't want anything bad to happen to Mr. Dillon, right? That's true. Have you seen the prices on some of these root vegetables that they got now? No, sir. I, I have. It's a, inflation is terrible, but yeah. The vital farms eggs. The vital farms eggs. You know, it was like five seventy nine for like a dozen eggs. Unbelievable. And I guess they're good eggs too. I guess they're good <laughs> eggs too. I mean, they, they look like they're good eggs. I mean, you look at the box and they got all these words written on it, like a Dr. Bronner soap. That's the true. Old mission statement and everything written on the eggs. Um, said, what's your, what is your do you have, are you an egg eater? Do you, you is that your routine in the morning? A couple of eggs. What's your what's your morning uh, breakfast routine? Tim, Tim, I don't think you I don't think you heard my joke. I had a pretty good joke there. I had uh, a pretty good one. All right, back it up then. I said I'm looking at the Vital Farms eggs packaging, and I said, "Damn, that's a lot of words." Did I write this? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're very wordy in a good way, I sir. Thought, we we hope you keep. I that's, thought that, I thought that one was pretty good. I thought that showed a little bit of a self awareness. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Uh, well, I would just one final question. What is your breakfast routine? Uh, what is your? I don't think you get that question asked enough. What? Well, it's my breakfast routine. Well, you know I have a cafe, right? Yes, I do know. You have a coffee shop cafe that's got a boxing gym in the back, and it off also operates as your uh, your private office. They're still crispy in the milk. My private office. Uh, got a boxing gym. I got a big buck hunter game. You know the big buck hunter. <laughs> With the orange gun? Yes. 
got a got a golden tea machine. I got a you know. Well, it's not it's not OLED. It's a plasma, but it's a pretty big TV. I bet. Answer the question, sir. What's for uh, breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> well, for breakfast. Well, for breakfast, I typically go in and I get the John Wesley Harding. That's uh, three egg yolks raw, and uh, some salsa bread, uh, some home fries that are New York style, where they're sort of just wet lumps of eggs. Uh, uh, sorry, potatoes. Uh, the potatoes uh, they don't do nothing to the potatoes in New York. They just sort of give you some raw ones that they heat it up in a microwave or something. I don't know what it's called, but uh, I usually get that and. Uh, I get a, one of my favorite cocktails. I have a special Bloody Mary mm. that I like to get. Tune is good. What's yeah. special about it? Oh, it's uh, it's got a lot of black pepper in it. Really heavy on the black pepper. You know what it's called? What's that? You've got a, a lot of black pepper in <laughs> Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever, sir. Using your lyrics and some so of your it, hooks as uh, menu items. Oh, well, you know the... Yeah, at a certain point, you just got to cash in, especially if you're looking at the prices of some of these eggs in the golden tea machine. It was a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, the guy who helped uh, Margarita Vell out, I think he even did Toby Keith's at Lemus Bar and Grill. He said, well, we can do one of these themed restaurants for you if you like. And I said, well, if you can put a boxing gym in it, uh, show me with a sign. And uh, So he told me to make some puns from some of the songs and... Uh, <laughs> And that's something that I did. Uh, I uh, we do a we do a bolognese that'll blow your socks off. Oh yeah, what do you call that? And we do a we do like oh that's uh, I did a little jingle for it. If you want to hear it, I recorded it for local radio. Uh, sure. When the rain is blowing in your face and the whole world is on your case. Try the mama's home style bolognese <laughs> to make you eat some food. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Pretty good. This is not, I thought it was pretty good. You yeah. know, that was in Hope Floats, directed by Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> yeah, that song was in Hope Floats. <laughs> that song was in Hope Floats, and Hope Floats that was directed by Forrest Whitaker. I guess he was coming off of uh, Waiting to Excel. It was it? Maybe Vic can tell me. Was that before or after waiting to exhale? Do you know? I, I wish I knew. I'm sorry. Look into that, sir. Yeah. Well, Mr. Bob Dylan, this has been an honor to have you. I'm just thrilled. What a what a treat! And you're just one of my heroes. And you know, Harry Connick Jr. Harry Connick Jr. He can act just about as good as he can play that piano. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I don't see much of him anymore. Play piano at eleven. I remember listening to him play piano at 11, and I thought, well, this man might just grow up into being the Cary Grant of our times. And, of course, his acting career remained brief. Mm -hmm. um, but after a star turn on Will & Grace and, uh, of course, stealing the show and Hope Float, you've got you got to look at that and, and think uh, that man's just about as talented as me. Maybe a smaller fraction, but definitely the same spunk of brilliance. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, uh, you mentioned uh, Howard Hughes and his long nails at the end of his life. Uh, someone else who had that uh, same issue was LRH. Mr. Hubbard uh, went away. Yeah, did you ever dabble in Scientology? Yeah, the same thing. You're, I know you're a, a religious man, so did you ever get into that Scientology, look into it? Well, I got into the Christian stuff for a while, 80s, 90s, and I just got so tired of feeling so damn guilty all the time. And uh, soured on religion. Uh, although I, always, I still like McGee and Me. I have some McGee and Me tapes. So <laughs> I like those a lot. McGee and Me. You ever watch McGee and Me? No, Christian sir. Cartoon. I'm not familiar with McGee and Me. Straight to VHS tape, Christian cartoon. Pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with, with Scientology, I never thought that the Scientology, you know, that the kids' cartoons were of any uh, merit, I guess you'd say. And uh found that hard to... Relate to that, I guess you'd say, also. And all the books are shrink-wrapped. I don't know why you got to shrink-wrap a, shrink a hardback book. It's only got a dust jacket on Why you got to shrink-wrap it? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. We will look into that. Uh, all right, sir, thank you so much. Uh, please keep in touch. I mean, goodness. If you want to ever reach out, I like hang what out. They do with, I, like, I like what those guys do in real estate. I like how they just sort of, 
They just sort of buy an old building tax free and just hang out in it wearing their little vests, like the Delta <laughs> Sky Club. Huh? Yes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank All right, you. Well, thank you know you. what, Timmy? I got to go. There's, there's, a, there's a boy in blue. He's waving me in. He's got a gun in his hand, but it's. He's oh. got a look on his face like he's not going to use it, but uh, i got to go talk to him, I guess. All right, well, return that stolen uh, produce, Mr. Dillon. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless the great Bob Dillon. You ain't taking my rutabagas. All right, <laughs> we'll let him go. Seems like he had stolen some rutabagas from the market, and now the cops are on to Bob. I mean, how do you top that, Tim? Did you make that beat? Part of me has a uh, sneaking sp suspicion that that might not have been the man himself. I don't what? want to spoil anything. But well, that was the real Bob. I thought it was him. We made it happen. <laughs> Huge get. Yeah, just enjoy it. Now can we do the city of the day, Matt? Of course, of course. The city of the day. City of the day. Enjoy the whole song. Is that little horn thing baked in now, or are you guys no, always doing it live? Very good. Live. All right, the city of the day is sponsored by. What's it sponsored by? Uh, Midlife slices. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> is your life getting boring? Do you dwell on your past mistakes and think, "What have I done with my life?" Well, don't worry about it. Get your ass down to Midlife slices. Midlife Slices is more than just pizza. They got a fine cigar selection, a weightlifting gym, a hair dyeing station with frosted tip capabilities, and a whole rack of luxury watches, including Tag Heuer, Rolex, and Blanked Pine. Trust me, these are nice watches. There's even a special sports car parking lot and a tattoo artist on duty. Bring your new girlfriend down to Midlife Slices. They got nice booths and you can buy her a present. She'll like their fucking booths and she'll like their fucking slices. Their slices come in many flavors such as Viagra Roni, Gumarinara, and Buffaloni. Plus, they're all Buffa diet. Lonely. Huh? Buffaloni. Plus, they're all diet. They're all diet. They're all diet. They're all diet. We're take we're talking half the calories of the other shit. We're talking half the calories of that other shit. So you'll be looking good when you step out of that new Hellcat. Why not treat yourself to what you deserve and get your ass down to Midlife Slices, located next to the strip club just off I-55 and Kedzy. Midlife Slices, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, our city of the dice. Hey guys. Our city of the die is Oh, well, do you want to let Doug do his... Uh, yeah, let's put... Oh, hold hold, hold the city of the day. Doug has it. Oh, let's go down to me by slices. I'll drive my Hellcat and get a tattoo. I'll buy a new watch, because there's nothing left in life to do. I like this new direction, yeah, Doug. Like yeah, very Doug's aggro, very pop. Emo. Yeah. Let's touch an emo. All right. Phil, Phil's our city of the day today. Uh-oh, speaking of Chuck Satani. Hello? Hello. Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Can you guys? Hey, it's our old friend Phil coming out of his hole. Look at this technology. Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Wow. Not much, how are you? Uh, well, it's a pretty big day, as you can imagine. It's uh, Groundhog Day, and uh, I've been trying to rebrand myself a little bit here. You know, that uh, uh, marmot up there in Punxsutawney has kind of been taking my name, and I thought uh, Your I name. might just kind of take over the, uh, the prediction business here uh, where I'm at, <laughs> and... Uh, Brand myself Peach Tree Phil. Oh yeah, and uh, just kind of tell you what's going on. I mean, I can tell you right now. It's uh, looks like uh, um, it's kind of drizzly. <laughs> I don't see um, I don't see a shadow. I'm gonna say uh, spring. Spring is coming. Great. <laughs> That's that's not what Puck Satani Phil has reported. So this is some you're getting different well, intel. 
Well, I don't give a damn what he says, but uh, I'm saying that's uh, it's going to be a quick spring. So, you know, um, I'm doing this now. I'm kind of here. I was actually kind of trying to build a, uh, a like a bunker slash uh, studio, kind of like what Joe Rogan did. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, there's only so much of one man in a shovel can do down here. So, um, you know, I'm also going to just going to be answering questions that people just walk by. They want to holler down and ask me what I can predict. Uh, I'm happy to do that for people. And uh, well, let me ask you, uh, my birthday's yeah. tomorrow. What what are your predictions for me going forward? Is the, It's not only my birthday, but it's fairly, you know, early in the year. What is what does my 2023 look like? Um, I predict, uh, 10 months of, uh, productivity for the coming year. Terrific. Okay. <laughs> Two months of just maybe kind of slacking off. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, back well, in the hole then. <laughs> yeah, probably back down here a little bit. Um, you know, if, if you guys need Thing. I'll just be kind of hanging around during the show if anybody has questions or. Well, do we have, have, have a Zoomer anything. have a question for Phil? Oh, I, you're right. You're are you saying you you'll make predictions for other people? That's what you're saying. Yeah, right. anybody anybody wants to know what may be coming for the future? Uh, you know, if it has some sort of a time frame attached to it, I can pretty much accurately gauge uh, what's, what's going to be happening down the road. There. What about me? Phil? What's coming in for me in the next month? Next month? Yeah. Uh, can you be a little more specific in your question? Like what you want to happen? Um, money? Is it money? Is yeah, it, money. Uh, Am I going to get money? Um, I predict uh, $10,000 this month. Not bad, Hall. Nice. What's your track record? What's your, where's this, where's this coming from? It, 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 uh, well, this is just starting today. So <laughs> I'm going to assume... I want to assume 100, percent but uh, today is the first day I'm doing this. So, Phil, what um, do you eat down there? Well, I bring my food down here. <laughs> what do you mean? What do I eat down here? I bring <laughs> food. You know, I'm like a, I'm a human being. You know, I'm not a. Oh, you don't live uh, down actual, there permanently. You, get, you come out every night. No, 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 no. This in the is, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, okay. I mean, you know, my wife kicks me out of the house. I might be down here, or if I'm trying to finish out the studio i might be down here working so this is just sort of a uh not a permanent uh residence here for me it's just kind of where uh i happen to be just depending on my own circumstances so where do you uh where, where are you located there is, is so people can come oh visit the city you. of the day is uh is norcross georgia my my hometown which is where my hole is wow and uh so that's the city of the day today you're in a park or a field or what, what part of the just the Vacant field, yeah. Just All right, well, maybe we can send coordinates out. <laughs> I thought it was peach tree, Phil. That peach tree, Phil. Nor, what is it? Nor. Oh well, no. Well, there's peach tree. There's North Peach Tree Street, South Peach Tree Street. We got East. We got a West Peach Tree Street here in Norcross. Hey, Phil. You know, I'm a little uh, concerned it, about something. Let me bring something up. So you're not in that hole full time. No, just, I mean, it just depends, but no, yeah. not full time. So what I'm worried about is this open hole out there in the field. And if you want to make sure that it's covered or something or, or put something, you know, right. marking it so that people don't fall in that hole. Oh, right. Uh, I mean, I, I guess you don't want uh, kids falling in or. Um, or if it like rains, could, like, you know, flood. Well, maybe we should send someone with shovels. Yeah, I would just put a tarp it over up. it or, uh, yeah. or, or okay. you know, a cone around it or something. All I'll right. just put so I can put some like sticks over the top of it and uh, cover it up with some leaves or something maybe. Let's see you go back down in the hole and then pop up again. Let's see that. Okay. Well, I'll go. I, yeah, I'll be down here. And then if somebody walks by, say, uh, "Peach tree, Phil. Peach tree, Phil." Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> It's not easy coming out of here. Oh, uh, hey. <laughs> now I'll just come right. Okay, that experience can be yours if you stop by uh, wherever that is. Right. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, I, I, you're welcome, and uh, happy birthday tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, have a great show. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Phil. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Dr. Phil is retiring. Oh no. Yeah. It's a shame. Well, he's uh, ending his bro- his broadcast, his program. We're really getting victimized by some censorship right now. And he uh it sounds like the smelling of uh, some kind of political move, like a Dr. Oz uh, situation happening. And I, I think that's just crazy. He's going to start his own YouTube channel. He's got a um he tweeted something yesterday that was something like uh what do you call uh See, now I'm getting texts. Tim, when is your Uh-oh. birthday? Happy birthday. It is tomorrow, assholes. <laughs> Please resend then. <laughs> uh, now, what did he say? This was funny because he said something like, uh, I'm concerned that the American family under attack. I'm concerned that the American family is under attack, that our values are under attack. Sound familiar? Ooh, it's a little interesting. ditty for me. Our values are under attack. Sha na 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 na. Anyways, that's the Dr. Phil news of the hour. How about a Zoomer? <laughs> yeah. Um, Nick, did you want to talk about your predicament or are you just informing me? Nick Cave? Right here, guys. Nick Cave in, in the flesh. Oh, boy. Looking good, Nick. Hey, guys. Uh, predicament here. I am, I'm stuck in Nashville. I'm a Dallas resident, frozen, uh, and the, can't get into Dallas. So I'm flying out later. Give me some feedback, ideas. What should I do? In well, Dallas? Stuck. I mean, mm-hmm. in uh, Nashville? Yes, sir. I'm in Nashville. Well, like, do you have the evening free, or are you just going to be stuck there during the day? Well, it's during the day. I'm at the, the hotel getting some food, going to head to the airport soon. Just some prayers, some thoughts. I'd like to get home. I've been here for four days. Just what do you, what, give me some feedback. What, what should I do? Well, my favorite spot in Nashville is Robert's Western World, right there wow. on Broadway. It's a great honky-tonk, live music all the time. I don't know how it is during the day, but I think they have bands during the day there. And uh, you can go Ooh. see some classic country music live. Nice. You're not gonna love it. Did that. you guys have Did you guys have a good time when you were in Nashville with the very good band? Did y'all hit this on the tour? We did not hit Nashville. Okay. But I've played there many times and it's a terrific city. It's uh, the home of country music. Yeah. Well, here's that. That's where to my country. Wait, music. so you just need advice for killing like three hours till you get to the airport? <laughs> That's it, Doug. It's Go. just a three hour kill. I've okay. been hanging out here for four days. A little hungover, but you know what would you do, Doug, for three hours in Nashville? Hair of the dog, start slamming yeah, you shots. Do Go down to Robert's Western That's World and it, get baby. yourself shit do it. faced. Get shit faced and get to that airport. Don't even remember that flight when you land in Dallas. Baby. One of the clubs has a big Elvis statue. You could go and get your picture taken in front of that. No thanks. Kind of cool. Hell well, yeah. Well, well, I I appreciate it, guys. And I guess just last thing, I did see Tim two nights ago. Someone wearing a salmon jacket. And I had a flashback to you. I guess you were sporting salmon jackets maybe during the US premiere. Was that your look there in Austin? The salmon yes, jacket. Yes, I've, I've I've taken that out of the closet for that and for a uh, spin me round premiere. The Jenny Lewis thing. I Jenny think Lewis uh, telethon. I believe it was my grandfather's sport coat. My grandfather on my father's side, grandpa, uh, grandpa, granddad. Uh, Papa Hi. Uh, grandpa. Grandpa. I had my mom's dad was Pep Pep, which you familiar with Pep Pep. Golly. And then Grand uh, Grand Grand Pop. Grand Pop. <laughs> that's a weird word. Grand Pop. That's, this a, that's guy, a mouthful. This guy, my Grand Pop, he would uh, retired fairly early in life, or I don't know, in the six. Uh, there it is. That's a family heirloom. That jacket. Yeah, I think so. I, wow. And uh, but this guy, you know, he was like a picture in Caddyshack, Ted Knight. Mm. Picture not not in the way he behaved or anything, not even in the hair, but he would have bright like gr- like chroma green pants, golf yeah. pants. He was a golfer. <laughs> okay. Bright green. Sometimes bright red, like just the like primary red. In the seventies, probably right. All the way. Is that a thing though? Is there a reason for and a golf, to golf shirt like, in bright colors? Why, so you don't get hit or something? That might, or that that might be. That might be. Polyester, real sit pants sit real high. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Big crotch area. Yeah. 
And he was always humming. Happy early birthday, Thank Tim. Thank you. Happy early birthday. He was always, I feel like I got a little bit of his tics, too, Thanks, because he, he's always humming and whistling. And num, 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 oh, Hayden's you know? back. Should we talk to Hayden Pedigo? <laughs> dim, 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 dim. No. You do this a lot? Oh, yeah, Actually, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You do this a lot? Ooh. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I do that, too. What's that about? <laughs> This is the weirdest episode. This is very odd. Really? Very odd. Something is weird. It's like we're something. supposed to be celebrating a birthday, but we're kind of not. <laughs> Groundhogs. Well, do you have Phil. a? Do you want? Do you want to acknowledge my birthday well, anyway, or, or present me with something? I have a present. Do you want a present? Yeah, of course. Dog, oh. Is this dog shit? <laughs> oh, it's the walk and seek wizard. The metal detector you it's wear on your feet. Product I invented. <laughs> oh my god! What? Walk and seek wizard. Oh, that's really cool. It's, it's also here. a sticker. Oh, it's a duck pound sticker. That's very generous. <laughs> wow, that is terrific. Check out the walk and seek wizard. Just put it. Show the picture on where your right hand is. I think where. Oh, on the foot. Yeah, Look at yeah. That. See that on your foot. What what does it do? It slides over your shoe? Or yeah. your, that's awesome. Yeah, you just walk around and then do it, while you're just do it, do it, you don't even have to think about it. You just find you could be metal detecting all day long. You might step you on a penny. Or a all right, I'm going to try it today. I'm going to go for a long walk and well, see pretty, if I can find some co nice. coins. I, I have something. You know what? I bet my uh, kids would love this. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's a little. Oh, thanks, Vic. Yeah, sure. Should I read the card? Yeah, read the card. Why not? I resent that you said it's a weird episode. Oh, a <laughs> Starbucks gift certificate. Thank you for being such a good friend. Your jokes and comedy have always given me life. So I wanted to offer that in return on this day. And that's a beautiful Starbucks uh, card. Okay. How much is it? Well, it's a good for a couple of coffees. One, $10. Yeah. It's wow. not $1. No, it's 10 it's 10 Okay, but then there's more. But yeah, wait, there's it, more. Your comedy and stuff gives me life. Okay, so I'm giving it right key, back to that's you. That's the key word. Did I just go mute? There you go. We're oh. hearing that. Paper now you can stay alive me. during the next pandemic with those N95 masks and oh. you're good to go. Oh, See? so cool. Yeah, isn't that a nice, thoughtful kind of thing, I thought. <laughs> well, Enjoy. Since, since we're all doing gifts. Oh, wow. This is one of the original... COVID mask. It is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is pretty cool. Thanks, Vic. I've uh -huh. really been wanting this. It's no on problem. my list. <laughs> They're like from the hospital brand kind of style. Unwrapped? That's wow. from me. Oh, cool. It's definitely not from the record company <laughs> promo department. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's this Brad now? Meldow plays the Beatles. <laughs> All right. Happy wow. birthday. Yeah, I've wanted this. This is on my list too. Brad Meldo. Should we listen? Brad to it? You want to listen to it? To the, one of the songs? Song. All well, right, here. Maybe is it jazz or what is it? Here we go. Let's hear it. Here it is. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That's uh, the Beatles. All right. <laughs> oh my! Wow! God. Happy birthday! Wow! Thanks, Brad. <laughs> Let me try to sing along to it. We got I'm the Walrus here. See how he rides. I'm crying. Sitting on a cornflake. Sitting on a cornflake. Waiting for the sun to come. Padamina custard. Da, 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 Sanamina. Stupid song. <laughs> I am the walrus. I am the walrus. I am the Eggman. Like Dylan. All right, thank you guys. Yeah. It was in the uh, Zoom room or, or the hotline, whoever you want, Matt. This is a call in show. We can certainly pivot to that at any time. This is a true surprise. Our old friend Hayden Pedigo is in the Zoom room. Hayden Pedigo. Guitar great. Hey Hayden, you there? Yeah, yeah. Look at you. I wanted to say uh, happy almost birthday. Thank you. Thank that you. That was it. I don't want to take up a lot of the show, but I just want to tell you that, Tim. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate it. What do you? What? What? Uh, what's going on there? You're working on a new record? Yeah, just finished it. Comes out soon. 
Have you sent it to me yet? Um, I think I did. Ah, oops. Uh oh. <laughs> See, I, people send me stuff, and it's always like somebody sent me a record the other day, and it's one of those box links where you got to download it all, and it's all out of order and stuff, and I, it's uh, too laborious for me to dig in. Thank so maybe you very uh, much. I like to wait until it's on my preferred streaming service, Apple Music, and then I can enjoy it on my Sonos. <laughs> what? Are you working on a new record? Yeah, this is the breaking news. I'm going into the studio on Tuesday for a week or so with uh, the very good band, which includes Vic on keyboards. Correct. Who's going to produce it, Flood? <laughs> Flood. <laughs> what, what, was this, what was their deal? Remember Flood? Yeah, call me Flood. You know what? I'm producing it. I don't need no fucking Brian Eno, no fucking Rado? Phil Spector. Who's behind the boards? Well, we got this guy, Ian. It's his studio, uh, and he's very competent and, and talented and creative and and we're gonna do it together. I don't need some fucking uh, uh, George Martin up my ass. Going to, Actually, uh, I think that would be a little bit better in a different key, don't you? <laughs> no, asshole! <laughs> Don't you fuck off! <laughs> Daniel Lanois. Hey, maybe we should try working on the tempo, dude. Fuck you! Maybe Ruben, Rick Ruben can sit there and lay down and kind of listen to it. <laughs> yeah, Rick Ruben. And just I'm say nothing. Feeling... Now listen, I don't know shit about anything. Uh, and, I've, and I've never picked up a guitar, but are you sure the intention of the the rhythm of the uh, the syllabic uh, the syllabic direction of the second verse is is connecting enough? Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Rick! Listen, I'm not listening to nobody named Rick, except if Rick Alverson uh -huh, is here, my true. mind director, uh, mine hair. <laughs> Rick Rubin sitting there, his stinky feet, <laughs> his food in his beard. <laughs> oh, let me meditate on this verse. Stained hmm. T-shirt. Let me uh, let me draw uh, somebody. I should I say G. You know G said uh, said the, he looked at some excerpts of Rick Rubin's new book and said it's sub Garfunkel level. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we could find some of that. Yes. <laughs> the connection between. Intention <laughs> and sustainability of creativity and the talent that goes into that. Those, those intersections have to be observed and modified if you're going to combine that with the root sound. Anyway, Hayden, are you looking to work with Rick Rubin anytime soon? Is he gonna get that, get you back to your roots? Um, I would definitely do it if it was offered. Of course, and so would I. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be hobbling right up there. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be sprinting up to Malibu to sit there in Xanadu. That's his studio. Or that was, wasn't that his? Name? No, Shangri La. Shangri La is the studio, or it used to be. But you gotta put. If you're going up to see Rick, you gotta bring up some Doctor Shoals. <laughs> what about Rick Pastrami? Did you work with him? Rick Rubin. <laughs> <laughs> So you're back there working for wow. a while. That's what you're doing. Nice job. Anyway, P Hayden, oh, thanks for Talk calling Hayden. in. Hayden I, uh, barely was, said I don't a have word. any. Yeah. Well, I don't have any. I've done, you know, when I do, when I get a guest on the schedule, I do research. I write my questions. I study my approach. Right. I just want to say happy birthday. That's it. Um, All right. Yeah. Check out, if you're not familiar with Hayden, I'll tell you what. You want to listen to some beautiful music, then there's one place to go. Hayden, better go. <laughs> there's one place to better go. <laughs> That's right. Beautiful acoustical guitar playing from the man himself, finger picking. He's a genius. And a friend. Rick Rubin. Hmm. What, uh. What, uh, fossil can I, uh, reinvent? <laughs> Who should he tackle next? <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis. He, well, he's, he's, he missed that chance. Is Jerry's, he dead? Jerry's gone, yeah. Oh, sorry. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe Bob. Has he worked with Bob? I ain't gonna work with no yeah, he Rick wouldn't Rubin. do it. I'm gonna produce my own records. I don't need somebody to tell me what to do. I don't trust that little gnome. <laughs> <laughs> you work with me, you put on a pair of boots. You don't come, up, come into my house with your shoes off. 
in your shorts and your dirty, stinky, mustard-stained T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and show a little respect. Oh, Somebody's walking hey, in. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, hello. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Happy birthday, dear oh. Tim. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Thank you very much. The great Pearl Charles and Michael Ralter here oh my goodness. to serenade you on your birthday. Oh, I will take it. Oh, birthday. thank you so much. Come to join us. Is it your us. actual birthday today? Uh, no, if you've uh, Observe. been following. <laughs> Rosie, do you want to do you wanna play a tune? Do you want to sit love first? I'd love to play a tune. I don't want to take Rosie's seat. Oh, you, well, we got a tune yeah, coming up. How about that? The surprise birthday song. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. How are you? We're great. How are you? Great, great. Enjoying my time with my friends here. Wonderful. And, uh, and, uh... So you're an Aquarius. Yeah, get on those mics there. You know, you know so good you're mic. an Aquarius, then. You know good mic technique. I know. Sorry, uh, that, that was very unprofessional. Am I a what now? Aquarian. Of that, of that sun familiar. sign. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not an, this I'm is not, the dawning of the age. Yeah, this sounds exactly. like some Scientology shit oh, yeah, to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. What does it mean, sci- uh, what does it mean uh, Aquarius? What does that tell you about me? What is the Aquarius? Is it the water bearer? Yeah. Whatever that means. You bear water often? Oh, yes. I'm always having to urinate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly... That must be an issue on the tour bus. No, we have a, bu- we have a toilet. Tour buses have toilets. Unlike <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, welcome sorry, to the big I'm not town. used to that. <laughs> now, you can't take shits in the, in the tour bus, right, Vic? Yeah, you can't, believe me. <laughs> I mean, you, there's a way, but it's not, not fun. Well, how are you going to sing date. me a song if you got no uh, instruments? Oh, we're going to I think we're gonna gonna told to set up after the Do you Well, how is okay. it super complicated? What? The, the guitars, we got a couple of minutes. Maybe we can take a zoomer and, or do you, what do you think? Luke, is that too complicated? Well, let's yeah. take a, let's take a zoomer maybe yeah. while they work on that. And yeah. Maybe a pee break. That, yes. I don't have to pee <laughs> at the moment. God bless. <laughs> My, uh, Maya. Maya has something to say. Maya. Not our friend Maya. No. My, uh, best friend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say happy birthday. Well, thank oh. you very much. Naya. Where are you calling from? That's all I want to say. What? Where are you calling from? What? From Texas. What part of Texas is that? What uh, in the world? Deep in the heart. Granberry. Grand. Thanks. Have you been uh, listening a long time? Is that on her in that noise? Yeah. What's that sound? Granberry, is that like, is that named, is that a type of berry that it's named after? Or is that, what is it? Grandfather uh, berry? Or yeah, there's something? a lot of, there's, sorry, it? we're getting a lot of no, uh, noise and interference from your oh. side. From, yeah, the, the sound is. Oh, that's just my air conditioning. Oh, okay. Well, what can you do? Something like it stopped. This is, this is the sound of her air conditioner. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the birthday wishes, uh, Maya. All right. Um, okay. Anything okay. else? Okay. No. Anything, uh, what, what's the rest of your day looking like? Uh, I don't know. I've been off of school, like, this whole week. So I've just been, like, watching TV and stuff. Oh, uh, nothing better. Now I'm getting excited. Hey, why are you off from school, though? Isn't it... Because it's been snowing. But you got the AC on? <laughs> yeah. But you, it's snowing, but you got the AC on? What's up with that? Well, air conditioning doesn't mean doesn't always mean cold, right? It yeah, could be it's like literally just conditioning can, the air. You can to condition the it to whatever wish. you want Everyone to do. Everyone knows it. AC means it's your cold air coming in. Mm-hmm. It's true. You should have said, I got the heat on. Cut the tape. Get my heater on. But listen, All right. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to, to thank you, to support you, all right? Thank you. Okay. I'm going to let you go now. All right. All right, now. Deep in the heart. Yeah. Deep in the Good deep old my. The gun, dun, dun, I liked her energy. Dun, yeah, dun, I know. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. People are like that. 
sometimes. You guys go with the flow. I mean, she left the I'll AC say. on all night oh, and yeah. woke up chilly. Who <laughs> else, Matt? Somebody else, huh? Uh, oh, Joe LaRocca actually has the Rick. Is that the Rick Rubin book? Oh, man. Yeah. Can you hear me? Well, yeah. he set up to do the reading, too. He's there, Okay, so uh, <laughs> my mother my mother sent this to me after she heard him on NPR. Do you like sure. the book? Oh, wow. Do you uh, like that I, book? Haven't read, <clears throat> I haven't read much of it, but let me show you an example of an early page in the book. It's just a little... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> makes me think. Just a little guy there. It's like our uh, Brian Eno's oblique strategies style. That's a thick right, book too. It's all. Oh, it's not. It's it's actually the binding is nice. Okay, so <laughs> nothing in this book is known to be true. Yeah. It's there a reflection go. on what I've noticed. Not facts so much as thoughts. Some ideas may resonate, others may not. A few may awaken an inner knowing you forgot you had. Use what's helpful, let the rest go. Each of these moments is an invitation to further inquiry, looking deeper, zooming out, or in. Opening possibilities. Or not. For a new way of being. It sounds like he's not committing to anything. Wait, I think you got a copy of Dianetics there. I was about to say, (laughs) it sounds like Scientology for sure. Uh, Exactly, it's a little, and then everyone is a creator is the first chapter. You want me to read the last line? Uh, sure. There's a, Spoiler he, alert. Yeah. Rubinetic. There's, well, so <laughs> there is uh, 15 pages in the back where you can take notes. Blanks? <laughs> yeah, blanks for What's you to take cover? notes. What's the cover? This is the cover. Oh, Just a, a big nipple. Oh, it's, man. It's a tit. It's a tit. <laughs> tit. No, it's a, it's a record. Ah, oh, right? that's better, yeah. It's, it's, it's a life. And then, actually, my edition had this weird foldy page that's a misprint. So it's certainly oh. worth more. <laughs> um, maybe that was to make me think, but uh, uh, hang on a second. Let me go I'll get to the very end. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even look at this myself. The last page just says the universe never <laughs> explains why. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? All right. All right. Happy birthday, right. man. Thank I don't want to waste any more your time. Been updates. Yeah, yeah, Talk to you guys later. Yeah. Great caller. I, uh, I I need to, oh thanks okay. uh, I need to acknowledge in the chat Trout gave us a hundred bucks why thanks, Trout and he said lots of love Tim get Brett Wine back on here yeah Brett hasn't done the damn Brett show. get on YouTube sorry thanks Joe. that sounds good to me. Take a little of that high end off, Luke. <laughs> He's producing this record. Yeah. I'd be a great producer. Uh, what, should, what should we do, Matt? Should we go to a song and then go to a break? Yeah. I mean, are you, sorry to throw this at you guys. Are you are you feeling all right to do a tune? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're prepared. Yeah. Bro. <clears throat> Bro. I think so. Oh, I'll take a little more vocal. If possible. Ba, 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 ba. Hello, hello. I've heard this song, but I'm going to sing along. It's my birthday. I'll do whatever it's I want. It's brand new. <laughs> this is the premiere. Whoa. Oh, wow. um, here's the deal. Well, we got a whole other hour of show coming up after this song, after the break. Join us at patreon.com slash office hours live. Uh, and uh, more, more in store. Be That's back soon. Right. This one feels like a very birthday appropriate one. I oh, think. nice. I'm going to sit for it. One, two, three, four. It's not something you did. You were only a kid. It's just what it is. Just what it is You were hanging out for such a long time Now you don't make the scene I can't recall your eyes and all baby Was it just a dream? All those days just used to fly by Like a small town parade Okay. 
could have had it made It's not something you did You were only a kid It's just what it is Just what it is You always kept your wheels running Scared of running out of time Lost and looking for direction Waiting for a sign Guess we're getting tired Of this endless merry-go-round Always looking higher For some drier ground It's not something you did You were only a kid It's just what it is Guess what it is Guess we never get to go back Some things just weren't built to last Maybe what we leave in the past It's not something you did You are only a kid Just what it is Just what it is It's not something you did You are only a kid It's not something you did You are only a kid something you did You were only a kid It's not something you did You were only a kid We got a hit! <laughs> debut. Hit Recorded debut. yet? Yes. Oh. With Flood? You keep saying Flood. <laughs> Who's that? What did they do? Flood YouTube? was a producer in like the 90s. Yeah. yeah. Produced uh, U2. Yeah. Hey. He didn't produce me. I don't know. What are you talking about? Not yet. <laughs> Who did they produce? Who did they produce? I think Flood. I, or uh, U2, I think. No, I didn't, like they didn't produce me. What no. about Butch Vig? <laughs> <laughs> I met Butch Vig. He's a nice guy. I bet he, uh, well, he wouldn't. Here's Flood. Hello, Flood. Oh, it looks like a Flood. Hello, Flood. <laughs> DJ, is he a DJ? Don't know. Is, Chemical don't Brothers know. or something? He, he, <laughs> I don't know. What he, All right, let's Nails. do this. Let's take a five-minute break. We'll be back with more. Thanks, T. Happy birthday, <laughs> T. You.